this thing is a coordinated effort. So he says, first they try to cancel you. Okay, then they try to throw you in jail. So this is exactly what happened with Tate. You got canceled, came back out, got bigger. What happens when you try to cancel somebody that the world wants to hear? They get bigger, it, get ampl it gets amplified. They try to throw you in jail. Now, he's on house arrest because they're like, yo, we can't keep holding this guy with jail with no actual charges. Mm -hmm. They're all sort of trumped up. So we'll throw him on house arrest. But then the third one is the scariest. They just put a bullet in the back of your head or your plane crashes, like your Pergosian, right. uh, which uh, happened to Putin, or you're a multi-millionaire billionaire and just feel like jumping out of a window of a hotel one day, right? Or you went to go get tea from a coffee shop and there was poison in it. So this is the, there's, a, there's a playbook for this. So as Tate says, first they try to cancel you, then they try to throw you in jail, then they full on kill you. So this is, this is evidence of um, a character assassination. But you know, when you have trials, they have character uh, witnesses, uh, witnesses of character, right? So um, this is what I want to get your guys' thoughts on. Here are the celebrities that are defending Russell Brand and these allegations. Elon Musk, Tucker Carlson, Alex Jones, Andrew and Tis Tristan Tate. So depending on what side of the aisle you are on, you might be like, dude, those are the guys I, I would want by my side. Or you might be like, those scumbags are supporting you? This guy's guilty, right? So depending on where you're at. But here's what they each had to say, and then I'll let you guys be the judge. So Elon Musk said, after that video, we already saw the video, right, Dave, which David pointed out, I almost forgot to play that. Uh, Elon Musk said, of course, they just don't like competition. I support Russell Brand, the man is not evil. That's Elon Musk, the richest guy in the world. You have that quote? Yeah, punch in a little bit so we can all see a little bit. Um, so here's what he had to say. Then Tucker, if you scroll down, uh, Tucker Jones, Tucker Carlson, Tucker Jones, Alex Jones. Uh, he says, you can criticize, he says, this is what happens when you criticize the drug companies, question the war in Ukraine, you can be pretty sure that this is going to happen. So now you have the richest man in the world that's basically saying, of course, these people don't like competition. I support him. He's the richest man in the world. So he's got his support. Then you have literally the biggest media personality, arguably, on certainly uh, traditional media outlets, Tucker Carlson. Um, he says, criticize the drug companies, the war in Ukraine. You can be pretty sure this is going to happen. Check one, check two. Then you got Alex Jones, who's been on our podcast. Uh, that was how many months ago, Malik? About two, three. Two, three months ago. The night before, number one, I, I thought I would not like Alex Jones because I had this perception of Alex Jones because of the kind of the big lie that he told about Sandy Hook, which is not right. So he's kind of wrong. Even Joe Rogan joked about it when we were in Austin with him. He's like, you know, he's right on a lot of stuff. But he was kind of wrong on that one <laughs> big thing when he lied about Sandy Hook, if you guys aren't familiar with that. And he owes like literally a billion dollars. Uh, but we had the dinner lie? the night before. What's that? What was the lie? A shooting where kids were killed and there was oh, a whole controversy. Oh, he just lied that the whole thing happened? He was on a lot of alcohol and meds. That's wow. his sort of excuse. But here's what he had to say. But by the way, cool ass dude. We had a steak dinner, great time at uh, uh, Trump Doral here in Miami. Do you have what he said, Malik? Let's play what Alex Jones had to say. I know Russell Brand personally. I knew him back when he was married to Katy Perry. He's come on the show a few times. We've hung out some in Austin. I've never seen women throw themselves at anybody like with him. And, and I mean, I've seen the old footage of Elvis with women pulling their panties off, throwing them. It's like that, okay? At restaurants, at one of his events I went to, it was literally women jumping at us, okay? And he's a big guy in person. No one ever accused him for the last 15 years of assault that they say he's a big sweetheart. And now because he comes out against Big Pharma, he comes out against the globalist, he comes out against the New World Order, suddenly the allegations are happening to him. Gotcha. Now, you don't have to believe Alex Jones. You don't have to like Alex Jones. That's his opinion. But we can all agree, Russell Brand, good-looking, tall, movie actor, famous guy, big podcaster, you can see why women would throw themselves at him. Does anybody disagree with the, that genuine concept? Anyone? Mm -mm. So we have no disagreement. Let the record show there's one, two, three, six beautiful women and two studs on a panel that basically say, yeah, something's fishy here. Got it. Um, Wait, a question. Sure. Are there any non, 
let's say, mainstream media backed people who have spoken against them or supported the claims against them? I don't know. That, that, I, I haven't heard any. Yeah, yeah neither have I. So, yeah. so we'll see. There's no character witnesses on the other side, is my point, aside from like actual new media Oh, news they'll find a bunch of women. Like, you think this is going to stop at four? No. But not five like, women? Not they're like, going to find ten women. They're, they're going to find like 20 women. independent people. But I'm will saying. they all be anonymous? They're all going to be anonymous. We know this, because there's a playbook Because they don't exist. <laughs> Here's the playbook. Ready? Let's go to the next quote from the guy we just saw this happen to. Andrew Tate. David brings up a great point. Like, who's, talk, who's saying some shit? Play what Andrew Tate had to say. He says, uh, welcome to the club, uh, Russell Brand. Uh, Matrix attack. On my way to fight the crazy bitch allegations, if you scroll down a little bit. So that's what um, Tate had to say. So you said, you know women that basically hyperbolize what's actually happening, making stuff up, especially when they're rich, successful dudes and have money. Why not? There's a playbook for this. So um, speaking of money, let's see what Tristan Tate had to say. That's Andrew Tate's brother, who's in jail for pretty much just being Andrew Tate's brother. <laughs> Again? <laughs> like, no, like that's why they were locked up. Like he didn't do any of what they're saying. They're just like, oh, you're his brother? Ah, just go on in there, buddy. You didn't have to do anything. You just you live in the same house as him. So let's go. You exist. It'd be like Sarah doing some weird ass shit and Aspen being like, yeah, I know her. That's my, that's my best friend. Yeah, you too. Go yeah, on but in no there. one else I'd rather be The old two for one special. Here's what Tristan had to say. So, uh, punch in. Actresses reading stories by anonymous people he allegedly attacked a decade ago. I wonder if there'll be money demanded. I'd bet my life on it. Again, mm -hmm. follow the money. Right? So this is a show where finance meets romance. We talk about dating. We talk about money. We talk about pop culture. It's always a money thing or a power thing. That's what this is. Why do they not like these disruptors, whether it's Andrew Tate, Russell Brand, Alex Jones, Elon Musk, richest man in the world who's basically uncanceling the canceled, <laughs> uh, because these, these, they're ruining their money. certain people's bottom line. Mm -hmm. Right? Doesn't this playbook just kind of make sense? Doesn't something smell fishy here, David? Well, I mean, the, between the military industrial complex, which would be supporting the war in Ukraine, and then between Ooh. Pfizer and the other, you know, big pharma companies supporting the, you know, the endless boosters and whatnot, and Russell Brand being one of the main biggest voices questioning those, yep. they probably, yeah. I mean, that, that would, if I had to assume the storyline, they reach out to, uh, you know, they're surrogates in, in the media, and then those people find some women that he was involved with. Oh, so, hey, 16, if you put yourself in the shoes of these women, yep. oh, you know, 16 years ago, we know maybe you had a, a, a fling or something with Russell Brand. Did maybe something inappropriate happen? Yeah. Maybe a few of these dollar bills? Yeah, here, know, here's right? yeah, 10 yeah. grand. Maybe something happened. You, you, can, be, you can be at a no, silhouette on the screen. I don't think anything happened. Here's 50 grand. Something happened, right? Yeah, I think I, something <laughs> happened. You, you, here's you 100 grand. Yeah, you rate me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone has a price. Yeah. Bro, I got a price. You give me $10 million right now, I'm raping somebody here. It might be Malik. <laughs> Your voice is too obvious, though. Even, even with the silhouette, we know it's you. Exactly. But uh, my point is, like, everybody has a price. And if you're some random bottle girl at some club from 15 years ago in London, and they're like, hey, you worked at this club. You used to hang out all the time. Do you remember seeing Russell Brand here all the time? Yeah, he used to come in all the time. Do you remember when he assaulted you? No? Here's 50 grand. You remember that? Yeah, there was this one time where, uh, you know, here's 100 grand. Oh, this oh, I was one time. 16 years old. Yeah, then. by the way, exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's just wow. super weird. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire Sauce cast, click right here.